Is it so it has come to this it has come to abandoning me in the middle of breakfast and the worst of it is that you are keeping me dark as to where you are going and the person that just called you on phone what is the meaning of this Cynthia stop it Dave grow up what is wrong with you even listen you are a 21st century husband you have all people should notice this and you want me to say in layman terms I will it is Monday morning one day, one hour. So what's the meaning of that? It means that I am late for work. And you should do that as well. Rather than sit your little butt there and judge my every move. You hear me? I have work to do. Can I go now? Mister? What uh, incidents led to your wife's condition? She treated her from the But uh, the diagnosis doesn't show that. I mean, she has a lot of cuts and bruises all over her body. So, they have to forgive me if I. Dr. Andrew, I'll be exactly trying to apply the medical report. No, no, no. Uh, you know, I, I'm just trying to establish a point here because uh, I, I need to ask you. Are you trying to cross examine me? Or where is, where is all this going? Where are all the special school? Where are we going with all this? No, uh, sir, uh, please, you will have to understand me because uh, just to understand me, I'm just doing my job. I'll tell you something, Your job is to go as that in no way gives you the right to try into my family business. Keep that job. Besides, I think I need to see Dr. Charles because I would not understand why you changed my wife's doctor in the first place without my consent.
Cynthia, what do you call this? What? It's the fifth time in a row you are coming back from work very late. And? Um, do you even care if I eat? Do you care if I've taken anything today? Do you even care if I've had dinner? So why the hell do we have a drama in this house? Cynthia, you don't get it. Marriage is a union between a man and a woman, not a man and the maid. You are my wife. If we don't die together, if we don't share moments together, how do you expect this to work? Men are so unsatisfied. If I was a complete housewife, you would have still complained. Now I am doing everything I can to contribute my own quarter, yet I can't even get a little appreciation. See, since you are not trying to say I have a problem with your job, I don't. But the point here is that you are more committed to your job than this marriage. And it's not cool. It's affecting us. Can't you see we're falling apart? Dave, Dave, what in God's name is wrong with you? Why are you being cynical? Listen to me. Unlike your kind of job, I am my own boss. And in case you don't know, I am my own boss. And I get directly involved with my clients. Don't you just understand? It, it, it is draining enough. Can you just come home and have some peace? I don't get it, Dave. It's not like I'm selfish. It's not like I, I don't appreciate the fact you have a good job. I do, I'm even lucky. Not every husband has a wife who is a career woman. I know, I understand everything. I understand everything you've been doing for the family. I do. But as you know, Cynthia, that my job can put food what I earn is enough to keep us going. I just want you to take your job as a part-time stuff. I don't want you to, 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 to see your job as a means to amass wealth. Considering our present condition, I don't want you to go stressing yourself. Now that is it. Now, that right there, I have had it up to here this time. And I will not take it again. I won't take it again from you, Dave. Dave, what is wrong with you even? I told you before, I am a career woman. I am my own boss. Let me ask you. Will it be a big deal if I decide to buy my house? Will it be a taboo if I decide to buy myself a house? Or a luxurious car even? When you first came to me, I wasn't idle. And I don't intend to be idle. Not today, not now, not ever. What is wrong with you? Why can't I just have peace with you? Stop being a 14th century kind of guy. I told you that's the money. This is 21st century. Get that! And just so we be clear on this, I am not a barren woman. That situation we talked about is something that God will take care of when he didn't fit. And I will advise that you don't talk about this again.
take permission to clean up your room. Should I carry on? Yes, it's okay. Thank you. What kept you so long at the link up? What kept you so long at the Lincoln? Seriously, 
Now come to think of it. You have a good house. You have a good job. And, and a comfortable life. Yes, I get it. But see, like I said earlier, <laughs> I am still learning from the masters. Hmm? And um, <laughs> I'm not ready to trade my peace for this. I still love being a bachelor. Thank you. Whatever. Well, I was going to say that you have all the things to get married. I don't really know what you're waiting for. But all the same, for you, life starts at 60. Good luck with the bachelor life.
time is all right. <coughs> now, your patient, Mrs. Okoye, how is she doing? Uh, she's doing fine. I spoke with her this morning and she's doing just all right. It's all right. Um, there are a couple of things I would like us to straighten out. Um, you know that uh, it's a normal thing in business, a normal saying that uh, the customer is always uh, right. You know that. Sure. And if you know that, I should also presume that you should know that uh, in this profession, we treat our patients' information with utmost secrecy. You see, why I'm saying this is because I wouldn't like what happened between you and Mr. Joshua. I'm going to repeat itself again. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. It is all right. You are free to leave. Thank you, sir. Uh, one more thing. You see, this is my 19th year in this profession. And I know one thing. That pride is not a big clear way in this profession. So, when next you want to eat, don't eat in your belt. Get out what I mean? Yes, sir. And thank you for your advice. Because we are ladies. You know, this is something I keep telling every girl. If it ever gets to that part where your man lays a finger on you, then that relationship is as good as dead. I mean, dead, like D E A D, dead. 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 You said that, done. Abby, tell me which man that doesn't hit a lady, especially in this our country. No, don't get it twisted, though. Don't get it twisted. <sighs> Not in all my years as a single girl. It never happened. No man ever did it. And come to talk about now that I'm married today, ah, uh, he knows his boundaries and will never cross them. Seriously. Oh yeah? Yeah, that reminds me. You didn't inform him that, you, that we came around. Exactly. But have you forgotten how jealous Cynthia here can be? Maybe she thinks that her hobby will fall for us. <laughs> Look at it. All for you. Ah, <laughs> oh, I am so into him. He just won't fall for you. And like you asked, <laughs> you did not even ask him back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How is he? It's been a long time. He's fine. But was he around when we came? No, no, no. He was out for a bit. Oh, I see. Almost mistook the guy who went in your sitting room to be him. No, oh, that's John. He's broke. Oh my goodness. That guy is so cute, baby! 
Um, he seems like my type of guy. So cute, man. I'm going to stop by for you to do a little introduction. Phone is phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't, don't. Why? Because he is too much of a playboy for you. Besides, he doesn't even have the word marriage in his dictionary. So. And what's so special about the so-called marriage anyway? Are you seriously asking a question? Mm -hmm. Grow up, babe. Go get married. Build up your relationship with your better half. Keep pets lovely kids and stay together. Watch them grow. I'm very sure Cynthia here is taking every single diary of her marriage adventure. Okay? Despite the fact I know she's pretending. And here you. Which Cynthia? And that reminds me, since you love, it's been seven good years since you got married. And you are here, still keeping fit. Why do you even intend giving us a baby? That's time. You made it come true. Are you seriously? Are you kid? Okay, Mary. Twenty fifth September twenty ten, you remember? Saint Matthew Catholic Church. That's actually where I waited. You remember the guy that forgot his ring that day? I had to borrow your car. To oh, oh, I remember now. You <laughs> come on, you, are, you look so big now. Look at your tummy, oh. even protruding. I'm telling you. Your wife must be doing a great job with oh, you. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's trying, but right now she's more concentrated on my kids. 
And this is just the second one. I just had one now. The third one. In a row. Yeah. You mean? Yeah, this is just my second one. I just had one. In a row? Honestly. I'm not actually prepared for it. That's wonderful. Anyway, enough of my family. How about your wife? I remember she was vividly dressed and even the priest had to comment it. Yes, yes, she's really beautiful. She is. Yeah. She's fine. And she must have gotten dozens of children. <laughs> um, oh, what is your name again? Oh, for what's it? Frank. Frank, I really need to be somewhere now. What? I hope we catch up some other time. Thank you. Your key is beautiful, by the way. nurses at the counter and let them admit her. I'll, I'll be there. I'll, I'll be there before you know it. Right. I'll be there. You should be at work. Fine, I was at work and I noticed it was lunch time. I said to myself, come on, David, why don't you go and take your pretty wife out, give her a treat? So I'm here. Mm, that's so thoughtful of you. But you know what, honey? Considering the fact that we'll be hosting your family friends over the weekend, I don't see why this is relevant. Besides, my hands are tied. Come on, sweethearts. 
untie them. You call the shops, yeah? you do whatever you want to do, yeah? So just untie them. And besides, don't you think it's high time you started being a romantic in this marriage? Don't you think so? Mr. Romantic. You know what I think? I think you should take over from Leonardo DiCaprio in the role of Jack in Titanic. You would do much better. Trust me. You will. So it happens. If you will let me, I have a whole lot on my table. Can I go and finish this? Fine. At least uh, you can have this. I decided to get you banana. Considering I know you cherish them very well. So have it. I can't remember telling you that I'm short of vitamins. But you look a little bit pale. You will need them better than I do. So you can have them. I'll see you later in the evening. Why is he crying? He has not eaten since. Oh. But what's up crying, no? Oh? What thick? Thank you, sir. Oh? May God bless you. It's okay. Um, take this. It's banana. Oh my God. Oh? Thank you so much. Oh, it's okay. May God bless you. It's okay. But, but stop crying, eh? Stop crying. So silent over all this charade. I don't want to get myself in the middle of it. I was about going for a money service around 7 30 when I got called. So, who is that? Mary's daughter. She has a daughter? Yes. She's our only child. Mary has been unable to conceive after having a girl, and I bet you know why. Okay, uh, you went over to her place to pick her. Her husband, you going to see him? He locked himself upstairs. All I could hear was loud music. So I had to rush my friend here seeing her condition. Thank God she was conscious enough to give me your number. But the only assurance I can give you is that she'll be okay. She'll have to spend the night here. And I will also be here to check up on her. I want you to go get her doctor so I can reassure her of her mother's safety. And I want you to go get her doctor so I can reassure her of her mother's safety. Thank you very much. I will do that. So how are you doing? 
I'm very well, Doctor. And how was the night? Fine. All thanks to you. Doctor, thank you very, very much for making my mother heal this quick. It's nothing. Besides, I didn't do anything. She just didn't go to the next. Um. <clears throat> I brought you lunch. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow, this is so thoughtful of you, Ada. It, it, it's as if you went by mind, you know, just a very famished and I've been making plans to just go to a restaurant and just get myself into some sweets. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> I cooked it. Are you serious? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I did all the work and you merely assembled them in the pot. So I cooked it. I didn't notice. You know, um, I'm so glad seeing the two of you have the right and, and I hope you are taking your regular medication. Yes, Doctor, I have. Thank you so much for your concern. I'm really grateful. You know, this is... very I... I didn't get a chance to ask you before you made the Even though your friend just sent out told me some things, but you know, it's can't tell you. But what's the story? Do you mind sharing? I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to look up old rooms. I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, it's okay, Doctor. You did nothing wrong. I we should be leaving. We actually just um, dropped by to say hello to say thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you. Thank you. I can assure you, madam, my department is up and doing. As you can see, we are prompt with productions. And the record of every badge you've made are sent to the account department. As the marketing manager, madam, I can assure you that the production department has a straight record of various batches of production made this year so far. Why then are there irregularities in the records I have here? I'm afraid, ma'am. I don't have answers to that question now. Because every cells we make per week are carefully documented and subsequently sent to the accounts department. I think the accountant here is in a better position to give account of that. Mr. Obonna. Mr. Obonna. Mr. Obonna. What could you be thinking at a time like this when we are in the middle of a Christian meeting? I was, I was lost in thought. But I promise you, it won't happen again. It won't happen again. It better not. Does anyone here care to explain to me, despite our good selves, our record speaks to the contrary? Madam, there's nothing to worry about. Actually, it's my fault. Um, I've been behind schedule in original records. This is the file containing the sales and records. All the record and sales we've made since 23rd of this month. I've not been able to arrange them properly. I've not really been feeling very fine. Madam. That's a silly excuse, young man. You are in a sensitive position here. Newford Aluminum Limited is a leader in roofing industry. And as such, only works with competent and efficient staff to ensure we are at the top. Um, Mother, I'm really very sorry. This will not happen again. I promise. I don't want such thing to repeat itself again. Now, what's your program going to be like this week? Well, it's really going to be very hectic. My mother-in-law is coming in the day after tomorrow. Oh, I see. So I'm not going to see any of you two around this weekend. I thought you can always come around whenever you feel like Maybe I should have been asking of you. My 
my dear, you know that won't be possible. With that woman around, no. I hate daddy. Honey, come on, don't say that. I mean it, mom. I hate him. I just wish Dr. Andre is my father. Yeah, Katie. That was a wonderful game with you. Give me five. Give me five, baby. Mm. <laughs> my boy. Man, oh my you really tried today. You played well. Mm, really Seems you learned what I taught you back then in Lagos. You <laughs> wish. See, guys, let's try it all out. So, so exhausted. I need to go home. Seriously. Ciao. I just wish that. I just rest like you guys. I mean, once I leave this place right now, heading straight back to my work. <laughs> man, brotherly, the solution is simple. Take a break, man. I wish it's that easy. See, guys, let me tell you. I'm joking. In less than a week, a month, everybody in his office wants him to be just with us. And not just that, they want him to play their. Hey, so no doctor, you know what the guy go do now. <laughs> oh, look at my life. How I wish I opt for gynecology. By now, brother, you should be swimming in women. Ah, don't tell me that one. You're sick in the head. No, you know go swim, you go dive. See, guys, uh, <coughs> there's this thing that's been bothering me. And I don't know how to explain it. Aha, uh -huh. my boy is in law. Oh. I'm from I mean, yeah. can you just let me land first? <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. See, uh, there's this woman. Uh, she has a daughter. Uh, she's not been able to conceive again because uh, her husband has subjected her to physical abuse. And, you know, what? I don't know. What? Are you serious? And why is that? I don't know, that is what is my imagination. Because this woman has decided to stay here to, to endure everything. She keeps imploding, imploding, imploding until maybe one day she just explodes. I don't know. Yes. Uh, let me tell you something. You see, that's why sometimes marriage as a topic doesn't appeal to me. Seriously. Because I can't take first day. I can't even stand the sight of a man that appeals his wife. Or any woman for that matter. Okay. Uh, as in, that man. Must be an idiot. He's a knee compo. He does not know the value of a woman. Jeez! Women are to be cherished, taken loved. good care of, <laughs> loved. Thank you for that word. And not to be beaten up and down. No, I, I don't know why she's doing that, but I've decided to look into it. You better don't. My piece of advice to you, my friend. Don't stick your nose where it does not belong. You know how our profession requires a great deal of wisdom. Don't even wear it at all. See, nigga, I don't care what it costs. My dear, he's rescued. He's rescued. Just try and do something, okay? Hey, try and do something. Try ignoring her, okay? Tell me. Maybe that will help. If you're not a psychologist, yeah. maybe someday to, to get the mind to speed the whole thing out. I mean, okay, just why does so. everyone keep saying this? Because that's a good thing. Should that's I just keep quiet, stand and watch until her life is knocked out of her? It's not gonna happen. No problem. No problem. Answer. Okay. Just, just, you can go. I'm out of this place. Just body. be careful, baby, okay? I don't know about you, Andrew, but I think this city is fabulous. Uh, yeah, I think so too, you know? Uh, it's very wonderful here. The environment very wonderful, very serene. It may not have what, what the whole big cities have, but guy, yeah, it's still natural here. <laughs> and I love it. Ah, uh, you're missing the whole point. You're missing the features, man. Uh, which is? They're women. Guy, are you cursed? Huh? Wait, are you, are you really cursed? Must you always mention women in every discussion? I mean, I, I'm fed up with it, man. I don't like it. 
Oh, wow. Excuse me, and just so you know, 
If I was happy in this land, I would be long gone down. I'm just a perfect piece of shit. Your food is turning cold. I like it cold, thank you. Since when? I am trying to concentrate here, do you mind? Super! 